Hello everyone. If you are working in Kubernetes cluster, then you must be already aware about Kubernetes network service type like cluster IP, node port service, and load balancer service. If node port service is used, then port can be accessed with worker node IP and application port. But if you need to assign the external load balancer IP to your port, then you don't. And if you don't have the load balancer installed in your cluster, then load balancer service will stay in pending state. And Kubernetes cluster by default doesn't provide the load balancer. So here in this video, we are going to discuss the solution of load balancer service allocation. If we need to assign load balancer service IP to deployment, then we can install Metal LB load balancer in cluster. So let's proceed toward the Metal LB installation and test the load balancer external IP allocation. Right? Uh, we will follow the step from this Metal LB site. This HTTPS Metal LB Universe .tf. You just Google it Metal LB installation and you will find that this link. Just click on that link. Okay. So we will directly uh, jump to installation thing. Uh, before installation, let's create a deployment and uh, see if IP is assigned automatically or not. Okay. kubectl create deploy ng inx hyphen hyphen image ng inx okay we already have one deployment then let's see if we already have the service or not Okay, just the cluster IP service. So we already have the deployment nginx and we have the port also, and this running in the default namespace. Okay, so we already have the port nginx. Let's, uh, let's uh, expose the service kubectl kubectl expose deployment ng inx hyphen hyphen port 80 hyphen hyphen type load balancer okay uh, let's get get service hyphen a see uh, here we try to uh, expose the service on the deployment so new service is created ng inx load balancer service type but we don't have any load balancer in this so the service would be pending okay so let's move to the our official site um, installation the for the installation the first step is preparation if you are using kube proxy in ipvs mode then you need to enable the strict app so let's see let's verify in our cluster if you are using the ipvs mode or not so the procedure is very simple uh, with the kube proxy installation one cm is cre created cm means config map so let's get the config map in all namespace yes here is the kube proxy CP cm let's see the configuration for k okay, get cm hyphen n hyphen n means namespace namespace is kube system hyphen o yaml Let's grab it. Okay, so here uh, mode uh, doesn't mention anything is the IPVS or something. So it is default mode. We are not using the IPVS mode. So first step that is this uh, IPVS strict app true is not for us. We can skip this step. Okay, next step. Next step is uh, we need to follow this step. The first is namespace creation. Second is the metal LB installation and third is your secret creation. So it's just simple step before directly applying the file. Let's read the content of file. So uh, dir before directly running kubectl apply hyphen f, let's read the content of file. Okay, uh, it's just simple the namespace creation, nothing harmful in the file. It's just the uh, kind namespace and uh, was the 
name space name is the metal lb system okay so file is okay let's follow the step cube ctl apply hyphen f good namespace is created you can verify the namespace this metal lb system is created six, six second before okay next step is we need to apply the metal lb yaml if you want to read the con content before applying then it's just simple cal hyphen s okay it's trying to create the psp service account cluster role so whatever data is required for the installation uh, those things are created using this step kind role we have creating role binding cluster role binding daemon set because uh, this metal lb installation will be done as a daemon set okay so file is okay uh, nothing harmful in the file let's apply the file Okay, uh, these resources are created, PSP cluster role binding and we check in the file also deployment. So if we check our ports, okay, we see one speaker port is in create container config error, okay. But our last step is pending. So we need to perform the last step, then we will check the status of the port. okay secret is created now let's verify the port again it's running okay before we could see that speaker was the create container config error because we didn't follow the last step once the last step is done then how many new uh, uh, ports are created speaker is created and controller two new ports are created both are 48 seconds okay so contro controller port is uh, responsible for the ip allocation if instead of uh, get the port in all namespace you can get the uh, port in specific to metal lb as well okay these two ports are created in the metal lb installation metal lb namespace okay uh, what we have done we have completed the installation part you can get the command from this page three command we followed we first created the namespace then we did the installation and after that we create the secret now the next thing is the configuration if you have not done the configuration then uh, it's, uh, it's not enough to just install the metal lb okay we have to follow the configuration part also so what does it say configuration is uh, here we are following the layer 2 protocol so we will follow the layer 2 configuration this one uh, is saying that we need to create a config map and in the config map we need to give the ip range that uh, we we need to assign to our port we need to assign to our uh, deployment service okay we can take any random ip just for the testing purpose we will create a yaml file okay okay we have created the file let's see the content of file is creating a config map kind config map in the namespace metal lb system because we have the we have done the installation all installation in the metal lb system namespace config name config map name is config and uh, address pool uh, here uh, default okay uh, you must be knowing that uh, we can assign the ip to our service through two mode either it can be uh, through the pool that uh, we will define the pool and uh, in the helm chart or your installation.yaml you can use the pool name so whatever ip would be available uh, those ip would be assigned automatically using that pool or you can use the static allocation that instead of using the pooling uh, you can directly give the uh, external IP to in your installation.yaml file. Okay, so I'm not changing the pool name, it's just the default. Let's create the config map. Q 
कि get cm hyphen a our new config map is created that is the config map let's see on the site if we have any other steps bgp configuration we are not using so configuration step was one only that we need to define the config map see as soon as soon as you uh, define the config map what was the range of config map it was 192 168 120 240 250 so by default uh, this ngi service was in the pending state because we didn't have any load balancer but as soon as we install the load balancer load balance in our cluster then load balancer service is uh, ip is assigned automatically from this range okay so uh, uh, let's summarize the steps what we did for, uh, for the metal lb installation we follow the site metal lb universe.tf just google it and you will get this page first do the inst uh, installation in the installation part first is preparation that we need to enable the strict app mode strict app true but it can be done only if you are using the q proxy mode ipvs but here we are using the default mode so we skip this step so next step is uh, we need to apply the yaml files first yaml file is we need to create the namespace then second is the installation and third is uh, we need to create the secret and next step is we need to create the config map and config map is having the uh, pool name and the ip range that we need to use for the external uh, ip range okay this k, k k get ports hyphen a k get all okay this controller and speaker was the part of uh, this metal lb installation i hope everybody understood how to install the metal lb in our cluster if anybody has any doubt then let me know in the comment section box like and subscribe my video thank you bye